hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing y'all how to get these sharp edges on your cake so to the right of my cake i have this boiling pot of hot water um you could use a torch but i don't have a torch so i'm going with this method instead so if you don't have a torch you can use just boil some water and get your metal bench scraper and we're gonna get to cutting the excess the top of this cake so you want to make sure that the cake is chilled you can put it in the refrigerator for like 30 minutes or if you want the process to be quicker you can put it into the freezer for like about five ten minutes it just speeds up the process please make sure that you don't do this on a cake that you just ice you want to make sure it is chilled please and you just repeat the process so if you still see that you still have some uneven sides on the top of your cake, um, you can just go ahead and keep dipping your bench scraper into the hot water and just cutting that off. So here I'm submerging the whole bench scraper because I want the top to be as flat as possible. So I'm gonna hold my bench scraper at an angle and I'm just gonna press lightly on the top of the cake don't press too hard but you see the frosting is coming off and this is going to give you a nice flat surface and very sharp edges to your cake so in these next few clips i'm just doing the same thing with my other cakes i just wanted to show you guys that i do the same thing all the time even it works with ganache this is white chocolate ganache and i do the same method because i want it to be as sharp as possible for when i put the fondant on top of the ganache so obviously I wouldn't recommend using a plastic um, bench scraper only because if you have a torch gun, you obviously cannot torch the plastic, it will melt. Um, I always use this metal bench scraper. I love it. I mean, I need to invest in a torch gun. If you guys have a torch gun, let me know if it's better than boiling some water because I'm pretty sure it is. So I will definitely be investing in a torch flame gun, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the process that I do for all my cakes. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments or if you guys do something different, I'm open to any suggestions. You know, I'm here to help you and y'all here to help me as well. So we can give each other different techniques. So make sure you smooth the top as so, hold it at an angle and that's all. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.